Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to, you know, take a break and then y'all still, you know, working on self-care and y'all still be dropping lines and there's still people subscribing, that is truly a blessing to me and I love y'all for the bottom of my heart so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been you know uh watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you are comfortable now please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just not tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you uh feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath please go ahead and do so and while um if they're going through some com they need confirmation or validation towards the life path or life soul purpose please go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And, you know, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, hold on, y'all. I'm going to pause for the cause. Sorry about that. Y'all, it's like raining here. It wasn't supposed to rain today. And anytime it rains, it's like my joints are so freaking sore. It's like I get really tense. But anyways, um, my... Uh, my meditation music that I'm listening to today, which is very, got me all hyped up, is called Boost Your Positive Auric Field, 285 Hertz. Bring positive changes and boost of positive uh, energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when it doesn't add up, start subtracting. Not everyone's supposed to stay on the path with you. And that's the truth. Ain't that the truth? Y'all don't know. I've been doing so much self-care. It's like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, sexually, because I, I, I don't do all that. I, you know, I don't submit to nobody. I keep my stuff to myself. Because it's like you, you're not meant to be sharing everybody's energy with you because you don't know what energy they sharing with anybody else. You got to be careful with that. But um, yeah, it, it's just like lately when you're heading towards bigger and better, you know, it, it's just like, you know, there will have people in your life, especially with you being a Hayoka, you will be having all type of folks blowing out their insecurities towards you. I done had people do it face to face with me and think I'm stupid or they've been on my Facebook doing the same thing or they even be here trying to, you know, insult my intelligence. I'm just like, you know, half of the people when they do that on, on these social media things, they won't be bold enough to do it to your face because I'm just like, you don't want that type of energy coming from me to you. You don't want to do that. Last time somebody did that, you got the feelings hurting all type of ways. But, it's just like, you know, when you're heading towards things and you're starting to grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually. When I first started this situation, I had so much stuff going on in my life. Like, you know, I was just hanging around people and it was just like all type of different energy because I'm an empath. Like, you know, it's like so many different people. I was broken and I, you know, I'm attracting up broken people that was in my life. And not, not to say that they're, you know, beneath me or anything like that. But, we, you know, everybody got stuff going on. So it's just like all those different things that was, you know, happening in my life when I first started. Like, you know, I, I, I got to sit up here and be grateful for all those things because whether it was substances or people or just vibrations, I'm blessed for that because it taught me a lot of things. It had to teach me, you know, you know if it didn't add up, you had to leave it up out your life. You know, if, it, you know, something wasn't right that you just couldn't put your finger on, get it out your life. You know, and it was like, I was grateful for the fact that all the stuff that was going on because it was like, just to find out, you know, because it's like my whole life, I always thought it was me. The reason why my family treated me like that because it was something I did, you know, and it's like, yeah, I did things. I ain't even gonna lie, but it was just like finding out all that stuff all at one time 
Because it's like when, you, when you've when you been put up under hypnosis and there are certain things you have also suppressed in your life too that was too hard for you to deal with. And all of that come up at one time. I ain't even gonna lie. I thank God for them many cigarettes, the many blunts that I don't roll, and a lot of daggone wine that I had. Now it's just a blessing when I can sit up here and deal with everything with a clear mind. You know, without smoking weed, without smoking cigarettes, without picking up a glass of wine. I know I was taking my daughter to school today and I smelt somebody, you know, smelt somebody sitting up here burning some good ganja. And I'm like, oh my God. You know, I'm like, shoot, I ain't trying to smell that. It's too early in the morning for that. And back in the day, I would have been upset and mad because I wasn't hitting one. Now it's just like, it, it's like the smell of it. Like, I even I said a couple months ago, it was like, oh, it stinks, but it smelled good at the same time. Now I'm just like, ugh, that just, it, it just don't, it don't touch me it don't hit me the same way like it used to so it's just like smelling that stuff i'm just like i'm good i'm really good like somebody can roll one up in front of me and it would not even make me no difference like i'm good you know it, it was in my life for that purpose but i'm blessed i can be able to deal with everything head on everything is supposed to be in your life where it first enters you on your path of you know self-discovery because that's what it is it, you're you're learning yourself all over again but from a different level so when you're you're able to get in touch with all these different things, there's a lot of people don't need to be in your life because they they can block your blessings in so many different ways. Because you know you 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 start thinking about things without fully thinking about it, saying something. You know even the words you project can mess you up in a long way. You know thinking oh okay I'm good this and this and I can say what I want to. You know you still got to be careful with that because it's, it's like you're messing yourself up. Think it all, everything is in a bag, so I can say what I want to say. You don't realize you're messing yourself up from your blessings, <laughs> you know. Because it was like I had to just, I mean, I'm exiting people out my life like people that's been in my life, like you know, God sisters, you know, God mothers has been in my life, you know, people that knew my mom for a long time. And I felt like, you know what, if my mom was trusting enough to let you know the things that was going on with me, that she wasn't, you know, she was ashamed to tell me. But she said, in case something happened to me, I want you to be able to tell my daughter this, help her find her way back home. And you kept that a secret. Oh, you're getting the hell up out of my life. You're getting the hell out of my life. Because just the fact is, you know, you know, you would never know what that felt like for somebody to hold information like that and didn't want to tell somebody just because the fact is who their family was. That's not my fault. But yet so many people knew about that and I cut them out their life and they wonder why I let them out of my life. I said, no, nah, because see, the fact is that she was on the other foot. Would you still be able to conversate with me knowing I knew about your family, but I was just too jealous of you for you to get it and got mad at you about everything, you know, and it's just like, uh, uh. <laughs> you know, I had to leave everybody out of, my, out of my life. I ain't mad at you, but you're going to keep your distance from me. I'm not even mad at you. I forgive you the long way, but it's just the point is, like like I said, you know, just because we ain't friends no more don't make you an enemy. You just can't eat with me like that. You cannot. You know, it's just like if I have to be, I, I can do bad by myself. And I tell everybody that you can do bad by yourself. You don't need no help to starve to death. And I know that was a song. You can do that on your own. So it's just like when you're on your path to self-discovery, when universe is giving you that, you know, that vision of certain people that is in your life and they tell you, they give you them scissors to cut that cord. Don't ask no questions. Cut that cord. When certain things come up, it's like when you have a glow up and it could be you, you know, getting a new job or getting a promotion and they secretly hating on you, cut them folks out your life cut them because it, you know everybody deserves a blessing in your life but there are some people that are in your life right now in your life right now that will sit up here and scheme and plot on you and praying that you don't you know you you up for a job promotion they pray that you don't get it hell they probably praying that you get fired even though they probably they're supposed to be your friends though you have those people in your life but those are the ones you need to weed from if that means you are all by yourself that is fine that is fine. So that means you ain't got to worry about nobody plotting on your daggone downfall. And you need to go. People are probably talking about the old you and don't even see the new you is forming up like that. That's okay. Let them talk. Let them talk. Because it's funny how some people know more about you than you do. And there was actually people that knew more about me than I did. Because it's like, you know, universe is allowing me to see certain things that popped off in my life. And as soon as I said that, my phone... uh. <laughs> my phone lit up so that's telling me the truth you know there when there was people in my life that knew more about me and used to make them sly remarks about me 
you know, about my family situation. I never knew what they were talking about. Now I'm just like, that's a messed up mess, but that's all right. Because when people do little evil stuff on you and they wonder why their life is falling down left and right, left and right, they got to remember. And I used to tell people that. used to do that with the Goldberg thing on me. Everything you do to me is going to be done to you. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, I ain't even got to wish nothing on you. But when you're going on your path, you're going on your path, and you done started that journey with a handful of people. Don't be surprised if you ain't got one or two people, or maybe even zero. Because everybody is weeded out your life like that. There's going to be more that's gravitating towards you that is on that level with you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, that can actually see, you know, like, dang, I really like them. You know, they, you know, I, that, their vibe is good. You know, and I'm, I'm starting to vibe towards more people like that in my life. And it's just like when the more people that I'm starting to exit out my life that I was there for them, but they weren't there for me. I don't got time for that 80-20 mess and I'm doing the 80 and you doing the 20. You want to do that 20, you can go to that zero and get another hero. I ain't about to do all that. <laughs> but when you're going towards your blessing, do that. You know, because there are big things that are going on in your life that they can't even expose to you right now with the people you got in your life. Trust and believe. Because when you start getting that, you know, that feeling, when you feel like that new chapter is about to flip on you, but then it's like, it's, it's like, because er, 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 they need you to get them other folks out your life. So you can go on and, you know, go on with your life. Just going to be able to do that because it's a blessing to be able to have all these folks that's not supposed to be in my life. You know, even though I don't wish no bad on them, even though there was people I really wanted to mess up the long way. But I said, nope. And I said, God, don't, God was telling me your character will be no better than theirs if you do that. Allow us to be able to deal with that. We'll let you see. You know, I had a, you know, a co-worker that's so-called supposed to be my best friend. She got me out of my job because she was feeling some type of way. Because I was that person that naturally went towards people and people gravitated towards me all different ways. But she was insecure about that because she was a lot older than me. Got me fired at my job and lo and behold, I'm just hearing recently. Oh, she ain't been to work back since, you know, since, you know, October, December, whatever. Say what? And I ain't even wish nothing on her, but see, that's what God does. He allows you to see the things that, you know, people have done to you. You know, people that, you know, sexually harass me on my job about my dad. They're no longer at their job. And I didn't even pray for them. I just said, no, I prayed for them. That's all I had to do. That's why I tell people, don't get revenge. Just pray for them folks. Don't even wish, don't even wish up under your breath. And you, you just sit back and allow how the universe works in your favor. You keep doing you. But when you're heading towards your blessings, keep your blessings to yourself. Don't even tell people, you know, you tell them after you get it. You tell them after you get it. You know, and it's always still a blessing. When I see people heading towards something, I don't wish nothing bad on them. Because I don't know what they had to go through, the things they had to sacrifice to get that. So when you're heading towards your blessings, bless them people. Like I keep on telling y'all, bless those. That's just like you blessing yourself. So it gives you that freeway for when things is coming into your life, it don't mess up. Because when you get mad because somebody getting theirs, you're like, God, oh, why not get mine? And I've been like that before, you know, and that slowed down my blessings for being that way. But I, you know what? When I see stuff that just let me know, hey, your blessings are coming. You just think God still got to just do some more touch-ups on yours. And you keep working and doing you. But don't be surprised. When you have nobody in your corner and it's not supposed to be long as god and your your spirit god's got your corner that's the only people you need at that point because once you get everything straight and on the up and up that means you're going to have more people gravitating towards your way that's on the same level as you so i hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video i'm giving my post notification shout out to lost puppy much love to you as well i'm at 77 we're gonna still talk but everything's gonna be okay with you i still love you anyway and gabriel and katie straight much love all y'all like and subscribe hit the notification bell drop me a line i'll love to hear from you give me your you know your 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 feedback on this and share give me a thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video peace and be wild